Basketball fans, welcome to Merkett Gymnasium on the campus of Stonehill College. You'll be watching Division II Women's College Basketball. I'm Dave Clifton. I'm here at Courtside along with uh, Ken Wood. And tonight uh, we have two teams that uh, have both played against Bentley College. Stonehill lost to them in the first game of the season. But uh, this team, uh, the College of St. Rose from Albany, New York, they actually defeated uh, uh, Bentley in their last ball game. I'm Dave Clifton here along with Ken Wood. Uh, big thank you to our sponsor for tonight's game. Yeah, Northeastern Savings Bank will be our sponsor for this evening. The Northeastern Savings Bank serves uh, Southern Massachusetts with nine offices in Norton, Mansfield, North Attleboro. We're a full service mutual savings bank and a member of the FDIC, DIF, and uh, equal housing lender. And the Northeastern Savings Bank is going to be merging uh, with mutual banks uh, shortly, so uh, that that's going to uh, they're going to be a good sized uh, bank to uh, service the uh, people in the area. Tonight is the purple and white game here at uh, Merkett Gymnasium. Both these teams are part of the NE10 Conference. Stonehill, of course, part of the Northeast Division. And uh, the College of St. Rose, they call them the Golden Knights. They are part of the Southwest Division. We're just about ready now for the officials to uh, shake hands with the coaches. Uh, we'll be uh, bringing you the starting lineups for both teams. Stonehill with a record of 10 wins and 5 losses overall. They're 4-4 four and four in the NE10 Conference. And uh, the College of St. Rose, they're 6-9 and nine on the season, 3-5 and five in the NE10 Conference. So this will, should be a battle. Uh, tonight's uh, Division II men's college basketball game is a production of ECAT. Eastern Community Access, uh, Access Television. There'll be three officials. There'll be a 30-second clock. All this happening here on the Paula Sullivan basketball court. And tonight, uh, Stonehill would like to be able to win this ball game. It would give them their 11th uh, victory of the season. Every uh, victory counts in terms of uh, postseason play. The officials for uh, tonight's game is uh, Douglas Hopper, Sean Mahoney, and Joe Smoot. And they'll be dressed in the stripes. Thank you to uh, those folks on camera, the uh, handheld camera tonight, and our producer will be uh, Nick Amande, and uh, Ernie Smith is also on camera tonight, and we'll be able to provide this cable cast. Folks, if you get a chance, come on down and watch this team right here at Merkett Gymnasium, especially... Uh, Nice to have a college right in our own backyard. We'll be playing uh, two 20-minute halves, a little different than the women's game. Uh, on the PA uh, for Stonehill College, uh, Kurt Campbell. And... Uh, I haven't seen him here yet, but uh, the president of the college, uh, Father John Denning. And uh, we appreciate the opportunity to do this. Here we are right now getting the uh, starting lineups introduced. Adam Anderson will wear number two. He's a sophomore guard averaging 13.3 points per game. Saku uh, Silla, a freshman forward. He's been a surprise. He'll wear number three. Averaging 13.7 points per game. Matt uh, Ceruti. He's averaging 13.9 points per game. He's a senior. And of course, uh, Shane Herity, uh, a senior guard, averaging 9.9. And of course, they're led by head coach Mike Perno. And the time has come now for us to introduce. The Skyhawks from Stonehill College. 
Here's Owen Chodes, likes to shoot the threes. He's from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Sophomore guard wearing number 13. Here's Adam Freeze getting the starting nod. A freshman, Stewarttown, Pennsylvania. He's a six foot four inch guard. Here's Michael Bowen from Mansfield, Mass. Played his high school basketball for the Green Hornets. He's 6'4", six, six, senior, wearing number 15. And from Lawrence, Massachusetts, Joel Barroa, 6'5", forward. And here's Will Morton. He's a junior at 6'6", six, six, wears number 33, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Skyhawks led by head coach Chris Krause. They had 10 and five on the season. Four and four in the NE10 conference. Stonehill will be dressed in the white jerseys. The uh, Knights, of course, in the dark jersey. And the key player for the Knights. Look for him to do a lot of the scoring. I'm talking about uh, Karuti. First name is Matt, a senior. He'll jump the tat against Joe Barroa. You can watch these games on uh, Comcast Channel 97 and Verizon Channel 24. Here's the tip control by the Skyhawks. <laughs> tap ends up in the hands of Michael Bowen. He works the near side of the court, drives to the top of the key. Ball was uh, knocked out of bounds uh, by Shane Hurity. I guess they pronounce it Hurity. He threw it to the official over there, I think. <laughs> Here's Will Morton goes to the hoop, doesn't fall. Loose ball rebound picked up by the Knights. They move the ball and around the outside perimeter. Stonehill in a man-to-man -man defense. We do have a 30-second clock. Right now under 10 seconds before they have to take that shot. Little tricky dribble. Won't fall. They throw it up. Baroa comes down with a strong rebound. Good defensive effort by the Skyhawks. Oh, good defense moves right then. There's a hook pass. Shot won't fall by Adam Freeze. Here's Morton with the rebound from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Where's number 33? Leads the team in rebounding and scoring. Three point attempt didn't fall for Owen Cho's. He likes to shoot the threes and he's good at it. Almost two minutes off the clock here, Ken, and no team has scored as of yet. Good defensive effort. Yep. And finally, the nice. Knights get on the board first. That was uh, Silla from Brooklyn, New York, a freshman guard. 195 pounder at 6'4". Freeze to Bowen. Bowen from Mansfield, Mass. Not too far here from the Stonehill campus. Nice shot by the lad from uh, Lawrence, Massachusetts, Joel Baroa. He picks up a three, puts his team out in front by one. Stonehill 10 and five on the season. And there's the guy that likes to score, Matt Cerruti. Averaging 13.9 points per game. He did a turnaround J. Little off on the, uh, the shooting, Owen chose. Skyhawks are having a little trouble tonight, Dave. With those three pointers. But chose the kind of guy he has to keep shooting. He'll eventually get warmed up. The point guard, 
Cameron Johnson wearing number 11 for the Knights. There's a J, bang, all net. That basket was thrown in by Anderson. He's a sophomore from Sarasota Springs, New York. Six to three, the Knights. They got a nice racetrack there. Broa takes the shot, won't fall. Kind of an air ball. And this guy likes to go to the hope. He did, he got fouled in the act of shooting. Andrew Sims reports to the scorer's table. He'll be coming in for the Skyhawks. St. Rose coming off a victory against Bentley College. Waltham, Massachusetts. A team that uh, is ranked pretty high according to the coaches poll. Stonehill met them in the first game of the season but Stonehill has improved since the uh, opening game. Two free throws, uh, good by Matt Cerruti. He's from uh, Gilderland, New York. Most of these players are from New York. Getting some playing time, Connor Walsh for the Skyhawks. He's a six foot three inch freshman. He went to the hoop, he got fouled, he tried to dunk the ball, he hung on the rim. <laughs> and uh, one team was looking for offensive interference. As Dave mentioned, uh, the men's games are uh, two 20-minute uh, uh, periods. In the women's game, the first game of the doubleheader this evening, Stonehill won it by a score of 75-54. They were almost up by 30 points at halftime. They also played St. Rose. So one free throw out of the two that he took by Andrew Sims from Mount Laurel, New Jersey. His major here at Stonehill is accounting. He knows the numbers. Silla likes to take Ooh. the shot and he gets it. Got his three. Stonehill right now trailing by seven. Nice penetration and drive to the hoop. Strong rebound by Saruti. Eleven four, the Knights. Donald has a couple of players that uh, were injured this week. They will not be playing. I'm talking about Owen DeGraff, a sophomore at six eight. Shot won't fall. Nice rebound by Bowen. Mike Bowen is tough. Yeah. Owen chose helps out in the back court. Will Morton. There's Bowen to the hoop, makes the basket. Terrific drive. <laughs> He's a left-handed shooter, went down the left lane, laid it off the window on the glass and got the hoop. Stonehill trailing by five. <laughs> Offensive foul called against the Knights. <laughs> For the Knights, Michael Warren, a junior from Melbourne, Australia. He gets some playing time. He's got the, the head banner on. He wears number five. Stonehill down by five. 14 17 left in the first half. Freeze across the court pass to Bowen. Bowen stops, gets it to Will Morton, takes the three. He got it. <laughs> Oh, 
We'll be playing uh, two 20-minute uh, halves here at Stonehill. It's the Skyhawks hosting the Golden Knights. They travel here from Albany, New York. Ooh. And there's another three. No problem at all putting that ball in. That was uh, Shane Herity. 14-9, the Knights. Freeze wears number 12. Finish. Hook pass underneath to Bowen, takes the shot, got his own rebound, he's tough. That falls on Cedar number 10. I don't know if you remember the old Celtics team with the Russells and the Koozies and the uh, Jim Leskatoffs. Well, this guy Bowen is like a Leskatoff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stonehill puts the ball in play. Baroa takes the shot, got it partially blocked. Christopher Willis in the lineup for the Skyhawks. Smallest player on the court, he wears number 20. He's from Carver, Mass. And going to the hoop, their favorite scorer, Matt Saruti. Here's Freeze. Go to work. Goes to Baroa. Cross the court pass to Morton. Underneath to Baroa, he got fouled. They'll call that foul against Shane Herity. Shane Herity, his first personal. And that happens to be the uh, first personal foul called against Herity. And right now, Ken, we got a 16-9 lead by the Knights. Baroa makes the front end of his two free throws. Joe's comes in. Getting arrested is Alan Sa Andrew Sims. This team from Albany, New York, they're six and nine overall. That's their record. But they're three and five in the NE10 conference. Don't move down by five. They're coming back. The Golden Knights, uh, they play in that southwest division of the NE10. Nice pass, nice look, and of course, good hope. That hope was by uh, Jeff Allen. He's from Madison, Connecticut, only a sophomore. Played uh, at Cheshire Academy. And there's the three-pointer I'm talking about. Owen Chose from Eden Prairie of Minnesota. Stonehill down by four. That's what I thought you were gonna say, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, on top of the backboard. Hit the wires on the top of the backboard. It's out of play. Stonehill in the white jerseys will get the ball back. And right now you're going to see the Knights put in a half-court press. They get the ball across the timeline. They go to Baroa. Bowen goes to the scorer's table to come back in. And there's a drive to the hole. <laughs> Pretty play. Where'd he come from? He hadn't been playing in too many games. That was Christopher Willis from Carver, Mass. We got a two-point difference. Strong rebound by Morton. Little weave. And going to the hoop and tying the ball game up. That was Owen Chose. We got an 18-18 ball game. Yeah. This is a ball game. 
I knew I knew someone that would eventually settle down a little bit. So that's what's happened right now. You can see him uh, kind of getting into it. They were missing those three pointers one after another, though. Stonehill next Saturday will host uh, Southern Connecticut University. They lost their last game to AIC by a score of 75-57. As we get entertained by the Stonehill dancers here on, I should say, the Paula Sullivan Court here at Merkett Gymnasium. Now we, we got, got the Stonehill dancers out here now. We got a 30 second clock. We got three officials in stripes. And we play two 20 minute halves. And this game uh, earlier in the uh, first half was dominated pretty much by the Knights. But Stonehill came back. And Coach Chris Krause uh, clearing his bench. And giving some players a chance to uh, play. And I haven't seen uh, too much of uh, uh, Chris Willis. But the sophomore guy picked up a hoop here in the first half. And he helps in the backcourt. He evidently stepped on the sideline. So that's a uh, night turnover. Willis up the court to uh, Josh Mack. It's nice to see him back. He was on the injured list for a while. Chose takes a three, doesn't go in, and guess what? Mike Bowen gets a strong rebound and got fouled. He's tough as nails. Right, right now, uh, Joe uh, Barroa, he's got five. Owen Choice has got five, and uh, Will Martin, three. They're the top uh, scorers. And Matt uh, Chir Chiriki uh, it has got six for uh, the Knights, and Adam Anderson has got five. Of course, Matt's last name, uh, Ken, is uh, pronounced uh, Saruti. Stop, 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 stop. 10 13, the clock running. Stonehill bangs it up in their man-to-man -man defense dressed in the white jersey. They call them the Skyhawks. Here's their favorite shooter. They go low, misses the shot, Barrow with the rebound. And no foul on that play. It looked like he got uh, knocked down. That's a little traveling violation, what the coach was looking for. Ball stolen. Good hustle by Bowen. Gets it to Mack. Mack goes underneath, went out of bounds. Off the hands of the Knights. And almost uh, hit our cameraman, who's underneath the basket getting some good close ups of the players. And that's uh, Nick Amante. Nick is from uh, town of the Bridgewaters. Adam Sims has a tough responsibility covering their top scorer. He wears number 15. His name is Saruti. They give the ball to him. He fakes, goes up with a shot, misses. Morton with the rebound. Stonehill enjoying their first lead by a score of 19-18. Morton underneath to Bowen, takes a hook shot. Didn't quite uh, make it off the window. Adam Freeze reports to the scorer's table. This is a guy you can't let him shoot. <laughs> Puts the Knights back out in front. It's purple and white game here at Merkett Gymnasium for Stonehill College. 21-19, nice. Ball stolen, but he did a double dribble. 
So they call uh, Johnson on the uh, violation. He's from uh, Jamaica, New York. Played his high school basketball at Christ the King. Here's Morton being pressured in the backcourt. Has no problem getting across the timeline. Gets it to Owen Chose. Morton gets it back, ball stolen. Here comes a two on one. And he makes the basket. Went right over Bowen and kissed it off the glass with his left hand. 23-19, the Knights. This cable cast a production of ECAT, Eastern Community Access Television. Shot doesn't fall for Stonehill. Ooh. And they can shoot the threes. A 30, no, there's gonna be a full timeout for Stonehill. Not 30 seconds. Score right now, 26-19. The Knights out in front of the Skyhawks. So, can where can people uh, actually see these games on uh, cable? Yeah, we, we chan channel uh, Comcast channel uh, 97 and Verizon channel uh, 24. And the men's games are played uh, on uh, your local cable of uh, ECAT. On Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., Wednesday at 9.30 p.m., and Saturday at 9 p.m. That's the men's games. So right now, both teams are enjoying a timeout with their respective coaches. We got a 26-19 lead by the Knights. We got 7.21 remaining here in the first half. Nice round of applause for the Stonehill Dancers as they make their way back to the stands. Egan Egat, we offer lots of ways you can get involved. Make programs, film festivals, volunteers at the station, cover community events and meetings, and assist with editing and internships. So call uh, Egat at 230-508-230-7200 uh, for information. Taking a look at the scoring for Stonehill, uh, Baroa has five, Owen Chose has five, three points for Bowen and Will Morton, two points for uh, Chris Willis, and one for Simmons on a free throw. For uh, the Knights, 10 points by Anderson, and the big thing, uh, they've been holding Saruti uh, with just uh, nine points. Thirty-second timeout called by the Knights as the clock stops with 6:52. And of course, Stonehill has to take this team seriously. They did beat uh, in their last game uh, Bentley from Waltham, Massachusetts, a team that's well respected in the NE10 conference. So coach uh, Chris Krause will go with Morton. He has Willis in the lineup wearing number 20. Adam Fries is in the lineup along with uh, Andrew Sims. Stonehill down by seven. The Knights will uh, put the ball in bounds on the far side of the court. Missed shot, rebound pulled down by Morton. Morton leads the team in scoring and rebounding. One of the two uh, co-captains of the Skyhawks. Bowen with the basketball. Four seconds, ball Oops. stolen. They dish off, re-stolen by Morton. 
And we're going to have an offensive foul called against Morton. So the score remains, Ken, 26-19, uh, with the Knights out in front of the Skyhawks. If you just joined us, folks, you're watching Division II men's college basketball. Both these teams part of the NE10 Conference and both these teams part of the NCAA. Mack reports the scorer's table for the Skyhawks. 5.50 left in the first half. Stonehill in a man-to-man -man defense. Knights try to go baseline. They throw it up in the air, and that's a violation. They did not uh, get the shot off before the 30 seconds. So Mack comes in for Willis. Mack wears number five. Neither team has scored since their last time out. There's a J, left-handed shot, won't fall. Knights waste no time bringing that ball up the court. Stonehill not doing a bad job in their defense. Having a little trouble with their uh, shots. Across the court pass, could be dangerous. And he uh, did a little skip and hop to the basket and got the hoop. Morton with the three point attempt won't fall for the Skyhawks. Again, they're looking for the three-pointers. This night team, they're led by head coach Mike Perno. He played at St. Rose during the year 2000. He actually is a first-year coach here for the Golden Knights, but he's been coaching for 13 years. Here's Baroa. He throws it up. Not off the glass, but he actually threw it over the rim. Yeah. And sometimes that doesn't always work, but he got it, and we'll count it. 28-21. The Knights. Ball stolen by Morton. Stonehill's got to start getting some of that luck with the uh, three-pointers. They haven't been doing too well. Underneath. Nice Andrew Sims uh, went up, but uh, not quite off the window. The Knights, they like to drive down the lane towards the hoop, and they throw it back out front. Looking to get someone free for a three. You turn around Jay and the pain he got it. Nine, nine point difference. 250 left in the first half. Nice three pointer by Baroa. From way downtown. Puts the Skyhawks back in this game. Baroa on the loose ball rebound. 225 left in the first half. Stonehill down by six. A little bit off on the shot by Andrew Sims. He's a freshman. Good player, good find by Stonehill. Nice trying to slow the game down a little.
Ball stolen. They get it back to Morton. Oh. Morton to Baroa. And we're gonna have a violation. Baroa actually went out of bounds. Bowen comes in, Sims comes out. Getting arrested, Josh Mack. Mack is from uh, Winchester, Virginia. We got a six point difference, 133 here in the first half. Stonehill trying to keep this game close. There's a shot. Front rimmed it. And of course, he's been off. He's their leading scorer. I'm talking about Matt Cerruti. A little weave out front by the Skyhawks. They go to the hope, they throw it up, and we're gonna have a foul on the play. These free throws are important, Ken. Parole goes out for a rest. Here's Owen Cho's. Misses both free throws. That's uh, unusual for him. I see the Knights. Uh, they have in their lineup right now the dunker. Zach Tepuni. He's from New Zealand. We're watching him during the pregame warm up, dunking the ball oh, every yeah. time he uh, went to the hoop. So the Knights right now. Looking for the right shot, but they're not in a hurry. And again, another three. Wow. That makes it an eight-point game. Stonehill right now will go for the last shot. Bowen back out front to Morton. There's a three-point shot. Back rims that won't fall. Loose ball ends up in the hands of one of the Knights. And that uh, was thrown in by the doctor. Oh, he got it in time, got a three pointer. <laughs> they needed that, they needed that. So they go into the locker room right now, trailing by a score of 34 to 27. It's not the first time I've seen uh, Stonehill teams throwing in at the buzzer. Oh. So right now we got a 34-27 uh, lead by the Knights. The College of St. Rose out in front of the Skyhawks here from Stonehill. Uh, this game still can go either way. And when you take a look at the, uh, the scoring for St. Rose, uh, their leading scorer who happens to wear number two Adam Anderson we'll be back uh, with the uh, halftime but first this time out Both teams are loosening up the score at halftime, 34-27. The uh, Golden Knights right now out in front of the Skyhawks. This victory, of course, means a lot to each team in terms of improving their record. And who knows uh, 
what uh, postseason play will bring. Tonight's uh, cable cast, a production of ECAT, Eastern Community Access Television, and we hope to share this with other communities. And Ken, uh, a thank you to our sponsor. Yeah, our sponsor uh, for the evening is uh, Northeastern Savings Bank. And uh, we want to uh, mention that Bob Berg is the Chief Executive Officer for the Northeastern Savings Bank. Mara Palm is Vice President. <coughs> and mission statement for the Northeastern Savings Bank is uh, the mission is Northeastern Savings Bank is to provide efficient and progressive financial services to our customers. Big thank you to our camera people uh, this evening, uh, Nick Alande, as well as uh, Ernie Smith. Uh, and again, uh, these guys do lots of uh, terrific work here in the uh, Eastern community, and we want them both to know that uh, it's very much appreciated. So both teams right now loosening up this game could go either way. Stonehill went into the locker room with a long three-pointer that actually went in the basket and uh, brought them back into this ball game. And of course, they've traveled a long way from Albany, New York. I'm talking about the College of St. Rose. We'll uh, have 20 minutes remaining here in the second half as the uh, three officials uh, prepared to hand the ball over to one team here to start the second half. Here at the home of the Stoughton, I uh, should say uh, Stonehill Skyhawks, here at Merkett Gymnasium, both these teams playing on the Paula Sullivan Court. And Ken, let's take a look at uh, some of the scoring here in the first half. I know for uh, the Knights, uh, their leading scorer is Adam Anderson with 10 points. Matt uh, Cerruti has uh, 9 points. And that's a good defensive effort by uh, Stonehill because he's an outstanding scorer. Joel Baroa has 10 points for the Skyhawks. Owen Chose has 5. Six for Will Morton. That's way down in terms of scoring by him. But who knows what the second half will bring. One uh, free throw by Adam Sims. Chris Willis has two points. And three points uh, by uh, Michael Bowen. Now the coach for uh, the Knights is uh, head coach is uh, Mike Pereno. He's uh, been involved with them for the, his first year. And then, of course, we have uh, Chris Krause. Stonehill, and he's uh, sixth season with the uh, Stonehill. He's had a very successful career as a player. I'm talking about Chris Krause and also as a coach. There's using the left hand as he went up, missed the shot, and Morton comes down with the rebound. Stonehill works the far side of the court. Morton posted low. Bowen gets the ball on one side. Dishes off to Morton for the basket, and he got fouled. So Morton from Bowen. Morton now has a chance for an old-fashioned three-point. Let's see what he can do with it. He got the basket. He now gets a free throw. And he makes it. All net. <laughs> and now we got a four-point difference. Stonehill sticks to their man-to-man -man defense. He's a pretty tricky shooter, no doubt about it. I'm talking about Matt. Saruti. There's a three pointer. Owen chose. <laughs> he loves to shoot those tragwas. Yeah. Now they're starting to hit them, which they weren't originally the first half. Shooter, 
overthrew the rim on that shot. Hauling down the rebound was Adam Fries. They go low to Baroa. Back out front to Mudd. Bang, he got it! Another three-pointer. Holy cow! Tight ball game. 36-36. 18-13 for the second half left. Stonehill right now sagging a little bit. And they come right back with a three-pointer. Making that shot was Herity. He can shoot them from way downtown. 39-36, the Knights. Broa goes to the Hope. And we're gonna have a charging foul called against Baroa. Stonehill right now trailing by three. This game can go either way, Ken. Yeah. Maybe a little late for some people, but we certainly like to wish a happy new year to all the folks that live in the town of Easton. <laughs> yeah, he caught it. I was just going to say that looked like a travel. Yeah. I always refer to it as uh, travel without the music. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Fries wears number 12, chose 13. Here's Morton wearing number 33. Morton is covered closely by Anderson. Ball stolen. Underneath, they take the shot and there's a foul in the action. So that will send Adam Anderson to the foul line. The sophomore from Saratoga Springs, New York. He'll shoot two, he makes the first. He'll now shoot the back end of his two free throws. Made them both. 41-36, the Knights. They get it back out front to Baroa. Morton loves to take him from there. Didn't make it. Baroa comes down with a strong rebound. Ooh. Ball stolen. Wow. Wow. That was Adam Anderson with that three-pointer. Sophomore shot that with confidence. Forty-four thirty-six. the Knights. Jump ball. Possession roll will give the ball back to Stonehill. Sims comes in. Baroa sits. Stonehill trailing. They need a hope. Morton takes the J. Air ball goes out of bounds. And let's find out whether or not uh, the Knights touch the ball. If they did, Stonehill gets it back. They do. They do. Yep. Good call by myself. <laughs> Stonehill right now needs a couple of hoops. They don't want this team to pull away. Ball restolen. Ooh. Missed the dunk. Here comes Bowen. 
and he got fouled. So Mike Bowen right to the hope. Right now, uh, head coach uh, Mike Perno has a couple of questions for the official. Bowen, the left-handed shooter, makes the first. He'll get a second. Adam Freeze gets a rest. Back in the lineup for the Skyhawks, Josh Mack, freshman guard from Winchester, Virginia. Bowen makes two. 44-38, I just took uh, the score away from you, Ken. 15-42, left in the third, final half. And again, we're gonna have a foul on the shot. They got their own offensive rebound. I'm talking about the Knights. They'll call the foul against Sims. Silla will go to the foul line. And the freshman from Brooklyn, New York will shoot two. He's a left-hander. Willis comes out into the ball game. Owen Chose gets a rest. And Mike Bowen gets a rest for the Skyhawks. Got a second. Here's Baroa. Back send. Ball went out of bounds. Stonehill will get it back. Stonehill will double stack it now on each side of the paint. Willis gets the ball into Baroa. Underneath. Nice basket by Adam. I should say Andrew Sims. Now Stonehill down by six. Sims is from Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Defense is important right here. Turn around Jay and he got it. All net. No doubt about it, they can shoot Ken. Oh yeah. 48 to 40. Knights. Willis goes baseline. They get it underneath. Nice penetration and drive by Josh Mack, the freshman guard. He's a finance major here at Stonehill, but he figured out by the numbers how he was going to get in there and get that basket. <laughs> wow. He can shoot. Adam Anderson for three. <laughs> 51 42, the Knights. Here come the Knights. That Anderson has 20 points in this ball game. Quite a few threes. So he's a real person, he did miss. 51-42, Skyhawks need a hoop. Hook pass to Baroa. Turn around Jay, off the glass, won't fall. Calling down that rebound was Saruti. Fourth team foul. Will Morton gets a rest. 
So Adam Andros gets a rest. He goes to the uh, bench for the Knights. A lot of Stonehill fans are happy about that. That kid can shoot. He has 20 points in this ball game. Nice pass underneath. Tuparoa for the hoop. Puts the Skyhawks back in this game, Ken. Yep, 51-44. Knights. That's so about number 20, Chris Willis, his second personal. Mm. The 15 foul. Nice hustle by Willis as he stole the ball, but he evidently fouled. It's not a shooting foul. The Knights will take the ball out of bounds on the near side of the court. Went out of bounds, Stonehill gets it back. There's no instant replay, so you can't go to the camera no. to uh, <laughs> take a look at it. Here's Mack now with the basketball. And they'll call uh, offensive. offensive foul against Mack. The Knights have the basketball back. A little backcourt press, a little. Yep, Bowers recovered it. He gives it off to Mac. They play catch. And he found a way to get the shot off, and he made it. 51 46, the Knights. So, with the five point difference, Stonehill is not going away. 11 31 left in the final half. Turn around, Jay. He didn't waste any time nope. scoring another hope. Picks up 22 points. Oh, another turnover. Can't have too many of those. Nice rebound by Bowen on the missed shot. Mack likes to go to that hoop. He's fast, he's quick. Just wouldn't fall. So the College of St. Rose calls a timeout. Both teams will huddle with their coach. This is a uh, long timeout. Stonehill uh, dances will uh, come out on the uh, gym floor and entertain the audience. Score right now, 53-46. You're watching Division II men's college basketball. But right now, you're watching the spirit here at Stonehill. The uh, Skyhawk dancers. The dancers get a nice round of applause from the fans here at Merca Gymnasium. A reminder that uh, Stonehill uh, on Saturday will host Southern Connecticut University. 
The women's game will be at 1.30. The men's game will be at 3.30. And of course, that's before the snowstorm that we expect to get. And of course, the New England Patriots play on Sunday. They'll be in Kansas City. And what a victory that would be for the Pats to be able to get to the Super Bowl once again. Okay, the Knights have the basketball. They have the lead. They stop. They pop. Doesn't go in. Morton with the rebound. Here comes Bowen now. Baroa has 14 points. And Morton has 12 for the Skyhawks. For the Knights, it's Adam Anderson. What a show he's put on here in the second half. And there's a three-pointer. Bang, he got it. So Freeze picks up a three. And now we got a four-point difference. They go right to the hoop and score. Not wasting any time. That was uh, Warren, a junior. His name is Michael. Just hauled down a rebound. They got pretty good ball movement. Trying to get someone free for the shot. Oop. Ball stolen by Baroa. Gets it over to Chose. Chose uh, calls the timeout as he looks over at Coach Kraus. We got a 55 49 ball game. Plenty of time left. Nine minutes and 11 seconds. Stonehope down by six, so. Again, we uh, thank Ernie Smith on camera. Nick Allende, who sets up, he breaks down, he's holding the handheld camera to give you some close-ups tonight. And our next game will be here uh, at Stonehill College for Southern Connecticut State. It'll be a 3.30 game on Saturday. So join us over here at the Stonehill College campus. It's Wednesday, January 16th. This game is on tape delay. It's been a pleasure to cover all of the home games for Stonehill College. They come into this game with a 10 and five record. St. Rose also has been uh, winning some games, but they're six and nine. <laughs> so, so far, Ken has caught a cold and I caught a player. <laughs> I'm not sure if we got that on camera, but uh, hopefully you can still uh, get us on the air. So Will Morton now is at the scorer's table. <laughs> Ken Wood is picking up all of my trash <laughs> that I dropped when that player landed on the, uh, the table. <laughs> Little tricky dribble out front. We got a four point difference. That hurts when they get their own rebound. And it gives, if you just joined us folks, we're at Merkett Gymnasium on the campus of uh, Stonehill College. 
thank you to the athletic director, Dean O'Keefe, and the assistant, Doug Monson, and his crew. Hey, ISO, ISO coming, ISO coming, ISO coming, Jay. They get the ball back out front. There's the shot, won't fall. Morton with the loose ball rebound. Here come the Skyhawks. This would be an important hoop for them to pick up underneath to Baroa. He missed the shot and got we fouled. got a foul. remaining in this ball game as Baroa goes to the foul line. Makes the first one. Stonehill closing the gap. It's the Skyhawks hosting the Golden Knights. Yeah, you got both. They travel here from Albany, New York to take on the host Stonehill. 55-53. A two point difference. Across the court pass, they could be dangerous. This is the guy that wants the shot. He takes it, misses, Morton with the rebound. He crosses the timeline. Ooh. Ball stolen. And they got their own rebound and made the basket. 57-53. 6.48 left in the final half. Still plenty of time. Again the ball stolen. Good defense. So Bowen gets called on the foul. 6.35 in this ball game. And this is a game that could go either way. At the foul line will be Shane Herity. He's a senior from Glendale, New York. So this will be a full timeout called by the Skyhawks. Interesting, Ken, uh, how the game changed once the player uh, leaped over and landed on our oh, yeah. broadcasting table. <laughs> Stonehill uh, is back in this ball game. There's only a four point difference. And with three point shooting, Anything can happen. Stonehill College hosting uh, the College of St. Rose. The Golden Knights from Albany, New York. They're six and nine on the season. They're three and five in the NE10 Southwest Conference. We give you a voice and volume for ECAT. Our uh, vision is Eastern Community Access Television is to uh, facilitate, maintain, and grow the ever-expanding digital mosaic and reflects the community of Eastern Massachusetts. We provide a free speech platform for the exchange of ideas and information reflecting the talents, interests, and concerns of residents. Like I mentioned before, uh, the Comcast channels 97 and Verizon channel 24 are the ones that will be uh, you can see the basketball games here from Stonehill College. They'll be listed on their uh, channel uh, program sheets as you see them uh, each day. Heritage makes his first free throw. He'll get a second. Makes them both. Stonehill right now trailing by six. They got plenty of time on the clock. Adam Fries and Andrew Sims in the lineup. The ball went out of bounds. 
that has to hurt whenever you get turnovers. Trying to keep the game close. And the scoring for the Knights. Adam Anderson has 22 points. 11 by Saruti. For Stonehill, 16 points by Baroa and 14 by Will Morton. Well, you got it. And he got that. He drove right to the hoop. 61 53. He's the, the guy we worried about in terms of scoring. Right now, the Knights uh, go into a zone defense. It looks like a 1 3 1 zone defense. There's Morton, three. Oop, didn't fall. Won't fall. And they come down with the rebound. The Knights have the lead, they have the ball. Here's where defense uh, is so important. There's a shot from way downtown. They beat the 30-second clock. And he got fouled. That was Andrew Sims, who went to the hoop. The Knights will put the ball in play. 439-61-53. The College of St. Rose right now out in front of the Stonehill Skyhawks. They go to the hope they make the basket. Stonehill down by 10. 63 to 53, 425 left in the final half. This game, uh, Ken, is so fast, how quick the score changes. If you let up at all on defense, the other team comes right back. The well, Skyhawks have been pretty good on their defense, but they just aren't getting those shots, Dave, that they uh, normally get, especially those three-pointers. When that player landed on the table, I got one paper missing. <laughs> I wonder if he took that out in the court. <laughs> Only kidding, folks. But the uh, important thing is we helped make sure that he didn't get hurt by catching his fall. If that was you or I, we'd be going home in an ambulance. Yeah. Not going home. <laughs> <laughs> Not in an ambulance. <laughs> no, well, they take you. I don't take I, them home. I was going to have them drop me off at the house. <laughs> Okay, Stonehill, trailing by 10. Let's see what they can do. There's still plenty of time, <clears throat> believe it or not. Right now, the Knights go back into their man-to-man -man defense. Looking for the three, ball stolen. Baroa reports to the scorer's table along with Mike Bowen. They'll be coming back in for the Skyhawks. Cover Chose! Cover Chose! Get on it! Good hustle by both teams. Stonehill ends up with the ball. Here comes Will Morton. Goes to the hoop. No foul on the play. Ball stolen. I think their defense, the Knights uh, have been impressive yeah. on their defense. Putting pressure on the shooters. 
But it's a game that could have gone either way. They're bringing a little time down. Wow. Three times they pull it down yeah. and put it back up and get it. <laughs> Those offensive boards were a big help uh, mm. to the Golden Knights. 65-53, the Knights. Here's Morton, comes back with a quick three and a quick timeout called by the Skyhawks. So we get a nine point difference. And again, three point shooting has changed the game of basketball. When you think a team is out of it, they can come right back in with uh, two or three quick threes. Two thirty-five, and again, uh, Southern Connecticut University will be visiting Merkett Gymnasium on Saturday. Another Stonehill home game. A loss tonight would make uh, Stonehill ten and six overall. They would be four and five in the NE Ten Conference. This would uh, certainly be two great victories for uh, St. Rose. I say that because they beat Bentley last week. Yeah. And Stonehill, uh, right now, they're ahead. I shouldn't say it's over until it's over. But that 22 points by Adam Anderson uh, did the trick. Double figures for Sorotti as well as uh, Herity. And right now the Knights uh, in no hurry to shoot the ball. They're gonna kill some of their 30 second clock. Ooh, three pointer. No, they're not going to count nope. that. He nope. evidently nope. stepped out of bounds. My God, they got Magnix. They have uh, no problem shooting at all. It's important now that Stonehill gets uh, their shots in. Here's Barola, three-pointer. He got him. He got it. And now you got backcourt pressure put up by uh, Stonehill. They trail by six, 142. Time on the clock. In no hurry to take the shot. <laughs> and again, Barola pulls down a nice rebound on the missed shot. Stono right now is in a hurry to take the shot. There's Baroa, three-pointer. Nope. Won't fall. fall. And right now, a foul on the play. To anything to stop the clock with exactly a minute left. And when I think about some of those threes that uh, the Knights threw in, yeah. This game could have been even closer. There's only a six point difference. He's shooting a one on one situation. Must make the first to get the second. He makes it. 23 points in this ball game. Stonehill calls another 30 second timeout. Sixty-six fifty-nine. One minute remaining in this ball game. Taking a look at the uh, the turnovers, believe it or not, Ken St. Rose had fifteen turnovers to uh, Stonehill's eight. 
And uh, both teams uh, use 10 people off their bench. Most of the time, uh, the lead was maintained by St. Rose. Um, however, Stonehill did come back. And right now, this player that's on the foul line, his name is Anderson. He's had a lot to do with uh, the way this game has gone. Makes the second. He's deadly. 67-59. The Knights. 56 seconds left in the final period. Here's another three-pointer. Didn't fall. Baroa got a nice rebound. Accidentally kicked it out of bounds. Stonehill, nice uh, steal. They made the basket. Six point difference. 42 seconds remaining. What a uh, tremendous uh, game to win if the Stonehill could ever pull us out yeah. with 42 seconds remaining. Uh, that would make for a long ride home for the St. Rose team. Made the first, he'll get another one. And again, they'll come quickly. Bowen tried to put the ball in and he did get fouled, so we go to the foul line. 34 seconds and left in the game. Here's Mike Bowen now on the foul line with 34 seconds remaining. He makes the first. And we got ourselves a five point difference. Stonehill trailing the Golden Knights. And there's a uh, quick frustration foul called against Will Morton. 30.2 seconds remaining in this ball game, a five point difference. That is first. They have a pretty good uh, shooting percentage in this game. 69-63 with 30 seconds left. And the ball is stolen. And their favorite scorer right now is at the charity stripe. And he missed one. Yeah. Oh, you jinxed him. <laughs> and he missed, missed the two. shot. <laughs> Here come the Skyhawks. There's a three point shot. Bang! He got it! <laughs> Timeout with 17 seconds remaining. And this ball game. Still we're going by three. We got a three point difference. Can you believe it? <laughs> One more. A three pointer would tie it. <laughs> and we've seen that happen before. <laughs> Again, this game could have gone either way. There's no doubt about it. And Ken, we look forward to uh, 
covering all the games here at Stonehill, the home games. We certainly hope that uh, they qualify for postseason play. Stonehill College was founded back on June 30th, 1948. And on that day, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts authorized the Congregation of Holy Cross to establish this institution of higher learning. And it was the former state of Frederick Lothrop, Ames, and Northeastern. There are 2,481 students that attend here. 60% of the students are female. 40% male, and of course they have 164 uh, full-time faculty under the leadership of the college president, and we can't thank him enough, Reverend John Denning. He uh, is the 10th president here at Stonehill in their 65-year history. The stage is set right now, Stonehill. With 17 seconds remaining, 17.1 to be exact, they trail by three. They're going to put on a full court press. The Knights from St. Rose College will get the ball out of bounds. This game is not over yet, folks. They got to get that ball, steal that ball. Oh. And we got a uh, timeout called. And some folks are looking for. Uh, whether or not uh, they should lose the ball because they didn't get it out of bounds. 17.1 second. Another timeout called on the court, this time by uh, the Golden Knights. They have a three-point lead. They have the ball. We got it all on camera. And right now, uh, a steal by Stonehill. And a three-point shot. Who knows what could happen? That'll tie the game. (laughs) Now, if they could throw the ball over here, I could take the shot. No, that wouldn't work either, would it? (laughs) So, we've seen uh, some tremendous games here at Mercat Gymnasium here on the Paula Sullivan court. We see Paula Sullivan comes to these games. She's the former athletic director and former coach of uh, the women's team a number of years ago. She still supports the team, teams I should say. And right now, you're gonna see full court pressure by Stonehill with 17.1 second remaining. Barora on the ball. Three point difference. They get the ball free. They go to the hope. Shot is blocked, but there's a foul on the play. Good effort by uh, Baroa. Chris, if he misses it, he get a rebound. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, he just put in his 24th, uh, 25th point in this ball game. Skyhawks down by four. Now by five. He makes them both. 13 seconds left. You certainly don't want to see anybody get hurt. But that was uh, Mike Bowen and Will Morton diving over the cheers to get that ball. 6.3 seconds. Stonehill has the ball. I should say uh, the Knights have the ball. They have the lead. And they got the clock on their side right now. 6.3 seconds left. So they'll go to the foul line again. That's Kyle's foul number five, Josh Mack. 
and taking the uh, the free throw. That's for earlier the line. He should two for St. Rose. This game is a lot closer than the score indicates. Yeah. When you take a look at 7166, 5.1. 72 66. <laughs> it's all over here at Merkett Gymnasium. Stonehill loses to the College of St. Rose by a score of 72 66. Is both teams right now shaking hands? Uh, this was uh, a good ball game. There were times when I thought that the Knights were going to run away with it, but Stonehill hung around. They came back and they made a giant effort at the end. So the final score, 72-66, uh, tells the story. And uh, we certainly want to thank uh, those folks that helped us out on camera. A special thank you to Stonehill College for the opportunity to cover these games. And Northeastern Savings Bank for being our sponsor for the evening. And next Saturday, uh, Stonehill will be hosting Southern Connecticut University. We'll be here to cover that. This uh, cable.